The college admission scandal has sent shockwaves throughout the higher education community, angering millions of parents and students across the nation. Joining me now is legal analyst Peter Attleboro, here to discuss the impact of the story. Peter, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So Peter, uh, obviously many people are upset by this scandal. What's your take on all of this? Well, Cannon, like a lot of Americans, I'm appalled that these wealthy people have gained the system in order to give themselves a leg up over other wealthy people. Huh. Explain what you mean by that. One of the things that makes America great is that here, all wealthy people have the same inherent advantages in life as other wealthy people. Our capital gains taxes and carried interest laws were written so that all wealthy Americans can afford the quality prep school education that will funnel their children into the nation's top colleges. So, for a group of these wealthy people to undermine that through petty bribery and racketeering is really upsetting. So Peter, correct me if I'm wrong, but are you saying that this scandal disproportionately affects the wealthy? Exactly. Wealthy children are supposed to have equal access to things like private tutoring, legacy admissions, and racially biased standardized testing that give all wealthy children the same chance of success. So this scandal really compromises our entire higher education system. Wow, that does sound like a tough problem. What's your solution to all this? Well, there's really only one way to address this, and that's for Congress to step in and pass a law allowing wealthy individuals to lobby colleges directly on behalf of their kids. Wealthy Americans need to know the money they've worked hard to shelter overseas is going to buy their children the quality education they deserve. Allowing parents to pay off college administrators and coaches directly is the best way to approach this. Otherwise, our college admissions process is never truly going to be fair. Well, Peter, thank you for your valuable insight. Thank you for having me. Up next, one congressman's radical idea to fix the Flint water crisis by eliminating the EPA's water quality standards. We'll be right back.